Hey there guys and welcome to Tech Team GB. Today I'm going to be showing you how to disassemble the Seagate expansion drive to get the standard 3.5 inch hard drive out from inside. I reviewed this drive a couple of months back, it's a fantastic drive and a link to that review is in the description below. The only tool you really need is a screwdriver with a flat head, however, depending on how tough it is to open your drive, it may be useful to have scissors and pliers handy if required. Just as a note, I'd recommend exercising caution while doing this to avoid any kind of injury to yourself. Screwdrivers are sharp and not pleasant to be cutting yourself with, I assure you. Firstly, you want to take your drive and flip it upside down. The seams on the short edge are on the bottom and I found them the easiest to start with. You want to try to get your flathead screwdriver into this seam to start easing off the plastic enclosure. It's only held on by a few small clips, but don't be afraid to put a little force in. A quick warning now, this will probably break some of the clips and possible not to, and likely void your warranty, so proceed with caution. I personally was sure to jam a screwdriver head, any small hard object will do, to keep this side of the enclosure open, making it easier whilst working. Next, flip over the drive and move over to whichever long side you want to do next. Same process, only on this side it should be easier to get your screwdriver under the seam and then slide straight along. Again, don't be afraid to use a fair bit of force while doing this. Once you've successfully done one side, move over to the other long side and repeat the process exactly the same. After this is done, the enclosure should be fairly loose and feel like it's just about to come off. You just have to contend with the final short edge and its respective plastic clips. This edge should be no different to the first and thus fairly straightforward to get off. I recommend once more jamming a small hard object into the seam whilst working so you can do it a little bit easier. Be careful at the end with I.O. that you don't push too far into the seam to avoid damage to the circuitry of the enclosure if you want to be able to reuse it. Once all the clips were unclipped, the plastic should simply come off straight off the top, revealing the hard drive inside and not its high capacity greatness. As I've said, it's inevitable that some of these small plastic clips will snap, but my case enclosure was still resealable and didn't show too much external damage. Finally, you need to disconnect the hard drive from the enclosure. You do this by removing the four rubber feet on the outside of the uh, metal enclosure and then just unscrew the screws underneath them. Then you just require a small bit of force pushing up on the hard drive away from the end with the I.O. and it should slide straight out. This will leave you with the circuitry of the enclosure ready to take a fresh SATA drive if you wanted to or put a different drive in the enclosure. And the hard drive itself is ready to be either mounted inside your PC or in a different caddy. If you found this guide useful, please give this video a like. If not, please leave a dislike and leave a comment down below letting us know how you got on yourself. I've been Phil for TechTeamGB and thanks for watching.